individuals, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Superhero Wednesday. The day of the week we talk about anything comic booky, just anything us bloody nerds love, us weird little lovable nerds loving on stuff. Loving on a tiger, that's a dead thing. What do we all love? We all love movies. What do we all love? Movies that are awesome. What do we all love? Movies that are awesome that contain comic book characters. Like the Avenger films. I'm going to count down all the Avenger films, ranking from my least favourite to my favourite. And when we get started, okay, there's going to be five title cards. We're going to start at number five, you're going to be thinking to yourself. Damn, there's only four Avenger films currently out at the minute. And I'm going to say to you, there is a fifth one. I don't care what the title of the film says. There is a fifth one, and when we get to it, we'll get to it. But anyway, visuals, hope you do enjoy. If you do enjoy, Wabooski Wabooski, uh, thank you for just letting me be a dumb bastard with toys everywhere, models. Um, let me chat away about my the Avenger films in my order. But if you do disagree, let me know because below, and let me know what your favourite is, your least favourite, your best moment, your, whatever it is. Let us know what your favourite colour is if you want. That'd be amazing. Visuals, let's get started with number five. Of course, I feel a little bit bad making it so far down, but I can't help it. It's Avengers Assemble. Why do I feel bad? Because it's definitely, it's the one that started off. We got our first proper team build, our first team bit of strain. The first, I mean, there's been shared universe kind of stuff before, but it was the first real feeling of like, oh my God, these films are finally all come together and this is the big payoff. It had an amazing story. It had amazing actors that have controlled these characters for ages after. It had an amazing uh, um, the look and design and action. Uh, the, the screenplay was beautiful. Everything about it was just, just absolutely fantastic. Uh, but it kicked us off. We never got an Avengers Assemble. We did get some Cappy Cappy in charge moments. We got Iron Man being Iron Man. We got the introduction of four to mortal heroes. We we got Hulk Hulking out. We got Black Widow and Hawkeye. We got Black Widow and Hawkeye giving their, their characters a bit more credibility because obviously they're giving why are they Avengers, blah, blah, blah. It kicked it off. I mean, Iron Man kicked it off, but Avengers, were, was, it was the first Avengers. It was the first Team Unite film. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just not the best out of all of them. <laughs> Four is Age of Ultron because Ultron is amazing. Fair enough, they completely took a uh, just a unique, different route about how uh, Ultron Ultron comes about. But we got Scarlet Witch, we got um, Vision in this, we got Quicksilver, we got again the team expanding just that little bit more. And although like obviously Endgame and stuff's dark, this felt like the really for me anyway the the darkest sort of turn the way they went about it. We got a story where it wasn't just. Yeah, okay, it was bad guy, just wanted to do better, but it was bad guy made by the good guys. It was the good guys creating their own problem, and I, it's just cool, it was just fun. And again, at first I was like, ah, I really wish they went the original route, Ant-Man doing Ultron and stuff. But no, I love the way they did it. We got Vision out of it, we got Vision holding me on me and stuff. Andy Serkis in it, all, all round, it was just beautiful. Here we are, number three, Captain America Civil War. Now, again, yep, yeah, it's, not, it's not an Avengers film, but it is. It's an Avengers film. It may be called Captain America Civil War, but Civil War is very much an Avengers related issue in the comics and in the films. Our big hitters are there. The introduction of fucking Spider-Man. Everybody was in it. Black Panther, Winter Soldier, Falcon, Ant-Man slash Giant Man. Um, I, uh, I said Iron Man, War Machine, everybody, Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, Hawkeye, everybody was there. It was an Avengers film. Fair enough, it was an Avengers film where the Avengers take on the Avengers due to the effects of Baron Zemo, but anyway, it was just outstanding, it was amazing, and it was an Avengers 0.5 sort of film. <laughs> Two is the film that did the one thing that superhero films aren't supposed to do, and that's have the good guy lose. Well, the good guys in this case, it's Infinity War. Yes, that film was just amazing because you knew what was to come. It fully, properly properly for me introduce Thanos. Yes, we had him in Guardians and stuff, but this was the real introduction of who he is, what he's capable of, what he can do, what he's all about, what he wants to do, and it set him down as one of the biggest, biggest, baddest villains ever to hit, not just comic, but cinema. One of the most badass villains, and somewhat kind of, you, you understand why he's doing what he's doing. He's not a complete cunt, and in Endgame he is a little bit more. But Infinity War was amazing. Cap's entrance, Thor's entrance when he when he made Stormbreaker, he comes with Groot and Rocket. Um, exploring different parts of the universe, the different teams, uh, the battle on Titan, the battle in Wakanda, it's all just fucking amazing. But of course, that leaves number one. Number one, you could argue 
Endgame, that's number one. Uh, you can maybe argue that Endgame wasn't the best film. You could maybe argue that Infinity War was better uh, and maybe had some more epic moments, but this had some really key pivotal moments. I'm talking Cap lifting Mjolnir. I'm talking the death of Iron Man and not so much the death, but, you know, the death of our, uh, you know, Captain America that we all know, passing on the shield. Avengers Assemble. Do I need to see any more? It brought our heroes back, the big team up moments, the time traveling aspects, giving a bit more of a, an in depth look of what uh, possibilities could happen inside of the MCU with Finny Stones, with time traveling, with other shenanigans. It brought us Professor Hulk. It brought us so much. It was amazing. It brought us the tears, cheers, um, goosebumpy feeling. And plus, because it was the one that, that, that um, well, it didn't round everything off because Far From Home did, but it, you know, it pretty much rounded everything up. It brought our heroes back. It got us the big win. It, it, it was, it did so much, and it got all of us pumped and excited, and it answered all the questions. What, what's going to happen to our heroes? When are they going to come back? What are they going to do? And the, the, them trying to keep it a secret. Like the Lego sets didn't give away much. They had, a lot of other products didn't give up, give away a lot much. I know there was a few leaks and stuff. Uh, it gave us Fat Four, Bro Four, uh, Valkyrie beca becoming the new queen of Asgard. It gave us so much. It was amazing. Uh, it gave us uh, the death of Thanos twice. Well, one was a uh, slap out and one was an actual death. Thor literally went for the head. It was outstanding. It's number one. Visuals, that was all the Avengers films, including Captain America Civil War, ranked. Let me know what yours is in the comments below. Uh, I'm very tired today. It's been a long week at work, so I'm going to go chill out, have a little bit of a nappy boo. Uh, and then, because at the time of recording, Money in the Bank is two nights away, so I'm going to have to make sure I'm restored for that. Plus, Chris is going to come round. Because he, he hasn't really watched Lord of the Rings. So I was like, right, we're going to have a big old marathon watching all of the rings before Money in the Bank. So there we go, officials. If you enjoy, boosty, boosty. I literally love you guys. You guys are the fucking best. We're to always keep being you and keep on our web slinging out.